there are some similarities between you and the lead character, namely that, that you know, she emigrated to the United States exactly. but from Nigeria, but you emigrated to Britain. Yes, yes. And, um, and I think even aside from that, there's a lot of, there's a lot of the storyline that a lot of people can relate to, not just that, like no matter if, if whether you're African or not. I think it's something that everybody can take something from. What is that relatability factor? Um, well, there's betrayal. There is love, um, obviously. There's um, just f um, following your heart, like trying to, everyone has like that dream, that desire, and you know, you'll be able to connect to the character Aisha in some way or another. I mean, your personal story, you know, has also been a lot about you owning your own narrative, whether it's mm -hmm. been around music or, yes. you know, campaigning for rape in Nigeria, for example. Right, you, right. You've sort of taken ownership and empowered yourself, right. even when there's been controversy around certain things. I think it's important. Like, I think I feel like when you get into entertainment and you have a platform, it, it goes beyond just entertaining people. It goes beyond just releasing music. You realise that, you know, a lot of young girls are, you know, listening to you, or you have that platform to be able to influence people more so than politicians or even religious leaders. So I felt like it was important for me to use my platform in certain instances. Do you feel the responsibility of that, especially towards young women? A hundred percent, yes, I do, I do. Um, and I try, I try to keep that balance of being an entertainer um, and um, being able to still use my platform for good. Because when you look at your music and, and you know, Afrobeats. I mean, you probably don't like this this slogan, but uh, this title you're, that you're given, that you know, the queen of, of <laughs> Afrobeats. Uh, I have heard you in interviews say, "Look, don't give me that title." But you yeah. know, you you have sort of been uh, part of a huge sort of making it accessible. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and and there's been that responsibility given how male dominated it is. Yes, yes, it is. But you know, sometimes to whom much is given, much is expected. So I've learned to embrace it now. Before I used to be like, "No, don't call me that," but now I'm like, "Yeah, you know." I'm a queen. <laughs> My son says I'm a queen, so I take it. Well, you should. You should. And, and just finally, to you know, to all those young women and girls who who follow you, right? To have that confidence. Like I just realized that, like you said, like you know, me trying to deny that it's not me. me I, I'm trying to be humble, but at the same time, I'm trying to encourage young girls as well to walk in their queendom. And there isn't just one queen. We're all queens. So. I love that. Well, thank you so much <laughs> thank uh, for you. joining us here on the program.